Over the past few years, distance running has been sharply surging in worldwide popularity. During these ever-exciting moments, we've seen various talented athletes do some things that many thought could never happen. In 2019 alone, we saw a new men's half-marathon world record from Jeffrey Camworo, a new women's marathon world record from Bridget Koske, and we also saw a new women's world record from Safan Hassan in the one-mile run. These performances only further increased the international hype around these distance running events. However, the one unforgettable day that truly shocked the world was when Elid Kipchoge dropped a 1 hour and 59 minute marathon on the streets of Vienna, Austria, breaking through one of the most difficult distance running barriers in modern history. This was the kind of performance that really did transcend the sport, and according to SportsProMedia.com, an estimated 500 million people worldwide tuned in to watch this one-man run. That's a number that many Super Bowls can't even match. This was without question one of the most unforgettable moments in marathon running, and we'll probably never see an athlete or an event quite like this again. But there is one runner that many see as the next great distance running legend, and his reach doesn't just include the 5,000 and the 10,000, it also includes the marathon. In terms of distance running excellence, Joshua Cheptegei has already proven to be one of the all-time greats of the sport. Still just 24 years of age, he already holds world records in the men's 5,000 meters, the men's 10,000 meters, the 5K on the roads, and he also holds the fastest time ever run in the men's 15K, running a time of 41 minutes and 5 seconds back in November of 2018. Also in December of 2019, he set a world record in the 10K on the roads, running a time of 26 minutes and 38 seconds. However, this time was quickly taken down by Ronik Skipruda from Kenya, who ran a time of 26.24 just one month after Cheptegei. After setting four individual world records in a 10-month period, this incredibly talented Ugandan athlete ran his very first half marathon, and despite his training very much revolving around the 5,000 and the 10,000, he still ran a 59.21, placing third in the 2020 World Half Marathon Championships. To call Cheptegei an extremely talented runner would be a huge disservice. Since 2004, no athlete had been able to challenge the previous world records of Kenanisa Bekele. But like no one else could over the past 16 years, he took down two of the most iconic world records in distance running history, which immediately cemented his name with some of the all-time greats. In addition to his world record times, he is also a world champion on the track, placing first in the 10,000 meters in the 2019 World Championships. In addition to this world title, he also is quite dominant on the grass, as he won the 2019 World Cross Country Championships, covering the 10.24 kilometer course in 31 minutes and 40 seconds. What makes this one runner so exceptional is his extraordinary combination of speed and endurance, but in the mind of his coach Addy Reuter, there is one specific characteristic to Joshua Cheptegei's running that proves that his best is yet to come. In a recent interview with World Athletics, Cheptegei's coach stated that the strength of Joshua is his running economy. He is so smooth, and this is especially true on the roads. I think in the future he could run a sub two hour marathon. Remember his desire is to be the best runner ever. He will be the athlete to bring distance running to a new level he will be the new standard. These are quite the confident words on Cheptegei's running, as he is basically predicting worldwide domination for the foreseeable future. But honestly, this perspective is absolutely correct, and here's why. In every one of Cheptegei's recent road running world records, his timeless accomplishments really do look effortless. For his 15K world record back in 2018, his running is borderline hypnotic, as he holds a smooth and steady rhythm for his entire performance. Despite averaging 2 minutes and 44 seconds per kilometer, his effort levels for this event are strikingly low, and with a beautiful and free-flowing stride, it seems as though he simply floats into new levels of distance running excellence. 
This was quite the race from Cheptegei, but the exact same thing can be said about his 10k personal best and his 5k world record on the roads, which were also completely dominant performances executed to effortless perfection. Even back in 2014, when he was only 17 years old, we had the opportunity to see this young junior athlete run a stellar race. At the World Junior Championships in Eugene, Oregon, he managed to place first in the 10,000 meters, running a time of 28 minutes, 32.86 seconds. This time was capped off with a 59 second final lap, and even during this very quick final 400, it appeared as though he was still somehow relaxed. This ability to run with such fluidity is the exact same reason why the world record holder in the marathon, Elliot Kipchoge, has been so incredibly dominant in his respective event. Back in 2017, during his build-up to the Breaking 2 project, various endurance specialists noted that his running economy was one of the primary reasons why his marathon potential was so high. And wouldn't you know it, just one year later, he crushed the official world record in the marathon, running a time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds. This performance was very impressive, but then just one year after that, he would run under 2 hours for the very first time, completely shattering the mold for marathon expectations. Even when he makes a strong move running well under 4 minutes and 30 seconds per mile, he still looks very much in control of his running. But, how exactly does Elliot Kipchoge compare with Joshua Cheptegei? Now, Cheptegei still has yet to run a 26.2 mile race, so his real potential in this event is largely unknown. But in every other distance, we do have a solid idea of how these two running greats stack up. If we take a look at their personal bests from the 3000 meters up to the half marathon, we can see that Cheptegei's potential is arguably much higher than Kipchoge, even in the marathon. In both the 5000 and the 10,000 meters, Cheptegei of course reigns supreme. But even in the half marathon, which Cheptegei has only run on one occasion, his best time is already faster than Elliot Kipchoge. Now I know what you're thinking. Kipchoge's half marathon personal best could be much faster, and to that I definitely agree. However, the exact same thing can be said about Cheptegei. For this year's half marathon championships, he was almost exclusively training for the 5K and the 10K over the previous few months. In fact, on September 26th, he did a track workout specifically tailored toward his 10,000 meter world record attempt. And even with such intense focus on raw speed as opposed to longer endurance workouts, he still ran a 59.21, which is still one of the fastest debut half marathons in history. All of this information brings us to one very obvious conclusion, and that's that Joshua Cheptegei is the future of the marathon. In the exact same interview with World Athletics just a few months ago, his coach also stated that Cheptegei's aim is to dominate on the track until 2024, and after those Olympic Games, he fully intends to run exclusively on the roads. And when he does, it will be a sight to see. The reality of Joshua Cheptegei is that he is perfectly suited to become a marathon legend. He's already proven himself in the 5,000, the 10,000, and even in the 15K. But just how fast will he run in the marathon? And does he have the potential to become the first athlete to ever run under two hours on an eligible course? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.